All right, hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today we're talking about the Windows 10 Device Manager. What is this window? It's a running list of pretty much every device or electronic currently plugged into your computer. This includes things like your webcams. Currently, I have a couple of Logitech webcams installed, one that is a newer C920 that you'd use for things like YouTube and streaming. Then I've also got an ancient one that's from the dawn of webcams, back when Skype first became a thing. And it also lets you find things like devices that are currently having some issues, like my Blue Yeti that I'm actually using to record this tutorial is currently throwing an error. But before I get into too much deeper detail here, let's show you how to access that panel. And the easiest way is just go down to the lower left hand side of your screen to the Windows search bar and type in Device Manager and it'll pop up there in that list and you can just click enter and you will have access to everything inside of this window. What would you primarily use this for? Well, I would use this to see if I have things like a Bluetooth device connected so that I can connect things like wireless controllers to my computer and other electronics that need to use Bluetooth to talk to your computer, things like fitness trackers and the like. I can also go down here to this device that's throwing an error, my microphone, and I can go right click it and go to properties, and I can try and suss out why. And it looks like part of the reason is there's no compatible drivers available for this device, so it's currently just being used by the seat of its pants. So I'm gonna have to see if I can do anything about that. So if I go up to the top of this window within the window to driver, it says, I don't know what's going on here. There's no driver available. I can try and see if Windows can locate the driver by searching around for it on the web. Sometimes this works, sometimes it doesn't. I've had it more often than not fail to find anything and want to search the Windows updates for a valid driver, but if this was available, it would have done it by now because I keep my computer up to date. So I'll have to go look around on the web on Blue Microphone's website and see if they have a compatible driver for this available. So I'll just leave that for later. That's something that you can use this for. You can diagnose problems with some of your electronics to see if they're missing some software or if they're failing. That's a, a whole host of reasons why they might be throwing an error and have like a little warning message. Similarly, with my older devices, let's say I don't really need this other webcam because it's built into, say, my monitor or something and other devices are trying to use it and not give me the option to change it. If I want to use a different webcam, Sometimes it's easier to just disable an old one. So I'll just right click and go down to disable device. And this will no longer be available for the system to use. I can re-enable it at any time. All it is is it shows the same device in this list but with a downward arrow telling you that this has been disabled. And I can just right click and enable device at any time. After that, the other thing that you can do is you can just for kicks, go to view, show hidden devices. And sometimes the stuff that you need to use for a new peripheral or a new whatever you've plugged into your computer is currently disabled because when you first started using your computer, your computer didn't need it, didn't have anything enabled to use it, or for whatever reason was just kind of out of date. Those are things like these other Bluetooth enumerators that are disabled right now. You can enable these if you want or update or uninstall the drivers to get rid of those or make those more available. Usually in this case with these hidden items, it's because these aren't being used by the system. So there's not really a reason to mess with those. And that's pretty much the ins and outs of everything you need to know about the device manager. If you're not seeing a device in this list that you just installed or plugged in, you might have to right click somewhere and scan for hardware changes. That just forces Windows to refresh this page with all the stuff that it detects currently on your system. And you can use it to update drivers, you can check properties of a device, you can check settings, you can enable it, disable it, look for hidden stuff that might need to be enabled, and of course, figure out why this is throwing an error. So I hope you found this useful. That'll be it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. This has been a look at how to locate and use the Windows 10 Device Manager I've been your host, Larry. If you have any questions, throw those in the comment section below. I'll be more than happy to help. Until next time, have a good one, everybody, and toodaloo.